Hello and welcome to my Lightworks quick and easy video tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to make a complete video from start to finish in Lightworks. If you haven't already seen my before getting started with Lightworks video, you may want to check that out. You can pause the video and either click on the annotation on the screen or the link in the video description. Okay, so you have Lightworks installed and your media ready to go for import. Let's get started, shall we? We're going to create a new project. We're going to put in the name Lightworks Demo. And we're going to be making a 60 frames per second project, so we're going to choose 60 frames per second. And click Create. Okay, uh, that'll bring you to a screen with the Import Browser. We're not going to import any media yet. We're going to change a few settings. First thing I like to change over here in Editor Preferences, if you left click on that, is the playback controls. By default, they're on each viewer. I like to set them to global controls, which brings up this nice big control bar down here to use. Uh, you can try it either way and see which one you prefer. I like the global controls. And next, we're going to check in the project details. The frame rate is indeed 60 frames per second. Now the output format here, as you can see, it didn't go to what we want to output to. So we're going to change that. We're going to go for 720p, 60 frames per second. And also I like to change the precision to 10-bit. Uh, changes the color precision, helps a little bit with the quality. May not do much, but every little bit helps. And you can browse through the other project settings. Another setting you're probably going to have to change is the in-camera film speed. You see it's defaulting to 24 frames per second since we're doing a 60 frames per second video. Just set this to the highest that's available. And set that to straight film 60 frames per second. And that should be all you have to change there. Okay, and another setting I like to change is on the default edit size. If you right click on create a new edit, you'll see new edit settings. Here you can set the number of video and audio tracks and the length of your video that you're going to be editing. What I like to do is check the largest size of my video that I'm making and go into properties, details. You can see this video is 38 minutes and 13 seconds long. I like to add maybe two minutes for the intro, outro, and whatever editing that I want to do. So we're going to set the length at 40 minutes. Okay, so we are going to create a new edit now. Click on create new edit and everything is empty as you see and you can click on the select files to import window to bring that to the front and the first thing we're going to do is import the intro picture. Um, you can also use an intro video if you want. I'm just using a picture in this example. Uh, one thing about pictures is the default length is one minute on the timeline. You may want to change that. Just click the uh, gear cogs here and you can go down to stills duration in seconds. I have it set to 10 seconds. I'm going to set it to 30 seconds. Okay, now we're going to import the intro pick. Click on import. And that'll bring up the import window. And then we're just going to left click and hold and drag that right to the timeline at the beginning. OK, 
Okay, next up we want to import the audio for my introduction. So click on import button over there and intro wave. Click on import and now we're just going to drag and drop that on the timeline. Now the timeline is pretty far zoomed out here so these short clips look really small. You can use the little magnifying glasses here to zoom in or zoom out. Let's zoom in. As you can see the intro audio is only a few seconds long and the intro pick is longer at 30 seconds. But that's okay, we're going to uh, overwrite the extra portion of the intro pick when we import the next part of the video. Okay, so go back over to import button and we're going to import the main video file. And we're just going to drag and drop that on the timeline. As you can see to the bottom right of the mouse cursor it says replace. That is the default setting for putting dragging and dropping to the timeline. We're just going to drag you see how that snaps in place. We're going to drag it and drop it there. And it replaced the extra time we had on the intro pick. We're going to click the undo button over here. This is the undo and the redo buttons. Uh, they come in very handy when uh, you run into, why did it do that? <laughs> okay, we're going to click undo just to show an example of another way to drag and drop to the timeline. All right, let's drag and drop this to the timeline. Instead of replacing, we're going to insert. To do that, while you're holding down the left mouse button, hold down the shift key. You'll see that the replace changed to insert. Snap that into place and let go of the mouse button. Now it looks like it did the same thing, but it actually just inserted this and put the rest of the intro pick at the end of the timeline. We'll just scroll over to the end of the timeline and take a look at that. Might be a little faster if I zoom out here. And you can use this bar up top to zoom quickly also. To move quickly, excuse me. As you can see, it put the rest of the intro pick at the end of the video clip we just inserted. But we don't want to do that. I'm just showing you that so you can see how to insert something. Click undo, zoom back in, and we will drag and drop with replace option for the main video. Okay, the next thing I want to do is create another audio track. I have a separate audio track for my commentary on the video I recorded. So what you want to do is right click on the edit box and I'll bring up this menu and choose add tracks. You can add video tracks or audio tracks this way. We want to add an audio track, just one. Um, you can name it if you like, I'm just going to leave that default. And you can also choose the location, which after A2, that's where I want it. Click add. Okay, now I want to import that commentary track. So go back to import clips and UT test commentary, port that, and we're just going to drag and drop that to the timeline. I also have some audio to replace the standard audio that I tweaked a bit in Audacity. So we're going to import that now and overwrite the existing audio. UT test wave, import that, and then drag and drop that to the timeline. 
Okay, so now we have our intro, intro sound, the main video, and our commentary, and our tweaked uh, audio for the video. Okay, now I want to make a cut on this video. There was a point at which I paused the game and had to go away for a while. We're going to find that now. Just quickly scrolling through trying to find the point where I paused the game. There it is. Need to go back a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go frame by frame until the transition. These two arrows directly to the right and left of the play button will go frame by frame by clicking on them. Okay, there's the transition. So I want to go back a few frames right before the transition. Right there's the transition, so we want to select the frame before that. And the in and out will put markers on your video. We're going to put an in marker here. And now we're going to find the end of this paused section. Just left clicking and holding on the video cursor and dragging it along. Okay, there's our transition. Gonna back up a bit. Okay, again, we're gonna go frame by frame. Okay, there's the transition. Let's back up right there. Go to the frame after the transition. Okay, so on the timeline we have a mark at the beginning of the transition. And we're going to just use the uh, red cursor here as the marker for the out point on the transition. Now I want to delete this section. Deleting removes the time on the timeline and the section. So just click delete and that section is now gone. Back up a few frames and play that. Looks like uh, it was a seamless transition. Looks like I just stopped for a minute. Yep, that looks good. And that concludes part one of our Lightworks quick and easy tutorial. Be sure to check out part two where we will finish our project. Thanks for watching. Until next time.